What's up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve. I have BB Promos to tell like it is, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Coaching Up. Today we got Tristan, your boy Frank McGrath, doing freaky vascular arm day. So I thought I would definitely check in on this one workout because you know what? Again, new me, new you. It's January, and you know what? It's a good time to have a good video on arms because not many videos you see done basically just on arms, and we're gonna kind of take you know this video here and optimize their training your training and just giving you guys better overall tips and cues help you guys get better overall arm pump in the gym anyway let's get it started right away push downs here superset with preacher like yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. don't like just let me know i don't care okay. so we got tricep push downs supersetting that with curls so all right cool so i like watching this so we're gonna watch a little bit of this guys and then i obviously have a video for you guys to like you know watch and me break this down but again when we're doing this a lot of times we want to make sure that we're using you know shoulder depression right we don't want our shoulders always coming up and doing this if you want to keep the low rate on the tricep right and arm positioning too is gonna be that much more important too in terms of how you can distribute the load onto the triceps and then we keep going here. We're going on to, um, what's he saying here? Let's listen to him for a second. Curling or triceps, just not not really my strong point. It's just a wink at that. That means he is strong. I mean, he so said like, like, he basically said like, he has small arms and it's not, a, you know, he's small, you know, joints here. So it's not, you know, a good thing for him. I'm like, that actually, it's a really good thing. You might not have like a really long one, but like having a shorter part here, your tricep and bicep look massive. You got like short here. Like, it just, they just look really big if you have, Good genetics to build up bigger buys up. But anyway, just interrupt you guys. A lot of you guys are watching this video right now, but not subscribed. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you like the video by now, hit the like button as well and notification button. So next time I put a video, you'll be the first ones to get it. Back to the show. Let's keep watching. Carbs. So me trying carbs for like the first time in five years. How many carbs did you do yet a day? All right. Uh, a day, so like I do like 300 grams. Per day. So breakfast was 300 grams of rice. The next meal was. Uh, and guys, yeah, what they're talking about here, like a little bit of like advice here too. When you're looking at like good arm pumps, it is you know when you have a little more extra carbs in you on days like you're just training specifically arms, or whatever. In any muscle group, to be honest, that you know excessive amount of like glycogen will get help with that pump. A couple of shakes into your you know pre-workout salt, you have a great arm pump, but. Um, let's get on this coaching here. All right, I'm talking a lot, man. Come on, let's do a set, damn it. Oh my god, these guys work out. Okay, so we're watching a couple of things here, right? I'm watching him move where his elbow is, you know, in terms of where his arms are on the pad, and then where you know how much torque you're pulling is gonna make a difference. So, guys, watch this video here right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to optimize your cable push downs and your machine preacher bicep curls. Okay, so just wanna make sure you guys can get the basics of doing this movement to make it more optimal for you. When we're doing this, regardless if you're sitting on this part of the pad part of this or outside here, the biggest part is shoulder depression. So just from here, when you pull the weight down, that's fine, get it down. Get yourself already here. Get your elbows pushed in so they're pushing to the floor already. Push your elbows to the floor is gonna keep you from doing this and pushing down all the time. And you can see in the video, Tristan's doing this, right? And we don't want that, right? So from the ground up, again, we want to be in a nice athletic position. Get the weight down first before you set yourself truly. Then push your elbows out. The further your elbows are out, the more tension you're going to get on by pushing down. If the elbows are too close to your body, you're going to be doing this kind of stuff here. So push your elbows away, keep in that fixed position, shoulder pressure, tight core, tight back. From here, pushing down, pushing and straight down and keeping those elbows pushed to the ground while the weight comes up and here. So at the top of the lift, even at your hard reps, we're not doing this, right? There's, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, shoulder flexion to help pull it down, but having your traps come up is not what we want, right? So we want to be here, push, and then Again, wrists will be completely, utterly straight the entire time. They're not doing any of this shit. Well, guys, just so you know, a lot of what I'm talking about right now, a lot of what I go through is in my coaching and in my ebook. So get one or the other. But for more information, guys, check out the description below. Hit that email right there to get that private email. I'll give you more information about my coaching and ebook. Check it out. Back to our show. Okay, so when we're doing any kind of a preacher, like machine preacher curl, again, same rules are gonna apply when you're doing it standing up. You wanna make sure it's your elbows, your armpit stuck in here. You wanna be at least as much as you can get to here as possible. Now you can see how if I'm sitting down this far, my arms shoot out and the back of my arm is not on the bench. Oh, I wanna adjust the seat so I'm here, 
right? So I'm gonna take the seat, I'm gonna pick it up to where I'm high enough to where I'm here. Now, when we pull the weight up again from here, get your arms in tight, right? Now I don't want my wrists doing any of this. This is not giving me activation to your biceps or anything, just are they just making it stretch for unnecessary purposes? So you wanna keep it straight from here and then pulling up and keeping the wrist straight. We don't wanna pull and try and get a little extra by doing this at the top. Keep your wrist in a fixed position from here, controlling up and squeeze. Down, squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Remember to actually flex, contract the biceps while you're pulling it up. Not just lifting it up. Watch me as I flex my biceps while I pull the weight up. And there's how you get a little more muscle mind connection, flex through the actual set. All right, guys, so I hope you guys take that and apply it to the next time you do those movements. Take those in, watch it over and over again, put it in your head, and let's keep going. So let's move, let's move on. So rep, so we look at our reps as well too, guys. Rep wise, we're looking at just like, you know, a steady, like I get most of my guys to do like, you know, 30 minimum to 45 seconds of a weight. And if you can do at least, you know, if you can't get that 30 seconds, it's a good weight to use. You know, it's like a hard set. If you can get more than 45 or minute, uh, 45 seconds, obviously then you would increase the weight. So that's what I'm doing there. But like a good rep range is like, you know, 15 to 20 reps of a good, you know, negative, you know, control. Does that have to be like a one, two, three? It could just be like a, a good, you know, one to one up to 20 reps and you'll get a great pump. Um, great, you know, hypertrophy and, you know, so on. So let's keep going. Crazy. Okay, so we're moving on to, we have cable curls, right? And then we have, we have skull crushers, right? So, um, dude's ripped. God dang. <laughs> so again, guys, when I'm going to, I'm going to continue to say the same thing over and over and over again, shoulder depression, right? The more we can continue to keep that, that joint, that arm down or those shoulders down from rising up, the more we'll keep that load onto our tricep and our bicep because it helps with, you know, that it just helps against you having that arm doing this on both sides. So again, guys, check out this tip here. I got for you guys to optimize these two exercises. When we're doing um, cable curls with the easy bar, where you hold the bar is important, right? So when we grab the bar, we don't want to grab too far out. Now grab where you can. Basically you want to grab where your arms are comfortable going down again, straight down that, your bicep tendon, sorry, and straight down, right? And grabbing here. Now from, again, when we're doing this movement, we want to have ourselves out a little bit. We can give ourselves a little bit of a hinge. So an athletic position, pushing the weight away from our body. I already have tension from here, right? Now when you're pulling up, you want to push the weight down, right? From the elbows, right? So we can go further back here. Give myself the nuts, God damn it. So from here, again, you want to keep the elbows pushed to the floor so we avoid this, right? This stuff, right? We don't want this. We want our posture to be here to here. All right, tension, and then pulling up. And those wrists are gonna stay in that fixed position as well too. So we keep the load on our bicep. Pushing up, big chest. Okay, so we're doing skull crushes. A couple of things we can do to make sure this is more optimal. I'm not a fan of this movement at all because it puts a lot of stress on my elbow. So I don't really recommend this, but I recommend to anyone who can do this. If you're fine with the movement, good. If you're not, move to something else. Anyway, so common mistakes I see when we're doing this, especially even with Tristan, is that we have a lot of this wrist thing going here. Now again, when we're grabbing, yeah, it's great. Grabbing on the outside is not bad, but again, you don't want your elbows trying to pull in too much like this. I put too much pressure here and we see my, my hands are wider than my elbows. So I do want to grip inside here a lot more. Now again, from here, I want to push my arms back so I keep the tension on the tricep. Again, I want to keep my wrist flat the entire time. My hands are open just so we can emphasize showing you where the weight is on my hand, right? I don't want to have my wrists doing this and then trying to pull the weight up on the way up and doing this. I need a fixed position for here and pulling back, right, and pushing up. And that weight stays flat the entire time. <sighs> so 
So hopefully, guys, that can help you out with those. It can be a little helpful. That it makes it a little more clear as to how to like really, you know, get the load onto that muscle when you're doing those movements. Now, um, we're gonna just gonna coach up a little bit again, just with like Tristan going on. I would for Tristan definitely have his arms in closer, right? Um, we want to try to keep our arms in as much as we can, like this. Again, right? We have a lot of moving with the wrist. Right, he's relying on those a lot, right? So we're not really getting that connection. I mean, he's doing the reps, which is good. But again, that wrist not being, you know, in that good, strong position here and not just doing all this stuff, right? That's going to help with the load again. And he's forcing too much onto his traps. Um, you know, where Frank right now has his hands is a more desirable place to have them. You know, even when Frank is actually pushing down, you can see his shoulders still still stay down. His, his shoulders don't rise up even when he's torquing the weight up. He keep, he's keeping his lats engaged, right? Tristan is still doing a lot of this stuff. So, I mean, man, oh, I would love to train Tristan. I would love to just take Tristan and be like, yo, man, we're going to make we're gonna make eating just normal and cool, you know what I mean? And then, you know, our training is going to be, like, that much better because you're already that good. And if I can just hone him in on, like, the smaller details for what he has, like, a guy like that, to just like start to like eat more food, like literally to put on more body fat, he could get massive, like just, I'm not saying like massive, like he's gonna be like 240, but like he can get a lot bigger with having that extra, you know, glycogen in his muscle and water and that extra weight and that extra, you know, you know, that extra, you know, fat hormone in his body to help with like regulating, you know, man. Ah, let's keep going. I don't even need a head to flex. I can just like I don't know how to explain it. You just will it. You just yeah. will the vein. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, that's like Frank's like thing. Frank's got these crazy vascularity and, and people are like, hey man, how do I make myself more vascular? So vascularity is like gonna be genetic, number one. Two, it's gonna be definitely how lean you are when you're doing, uh, um, you know, in terms of like, you know, seeing that, you know, those, you know, vascularity, right? So, you know, don't expect to see va veins. Like how do we get veins in my forearms like them? You gotta be lean, period, right? And I'm pretty sure, you know, genetic wise, you could probably see veins, but obviously the leaner you get, the more you can see that. Again, we're looking at Tristan in this movement here. I want to have, I'm not, I don't want to really anchor that weight with my elbow. I want to put the weight lower so my arms are parallel, right? So we're getting less of that shoulder. You can see when he's pulling, a lot of that shoulder is moving in there, right? And it's not, I'm, I'm nitpicking a bit, but I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of how we really want to, you know, optimize this, you know, workout. Now, doing this here is really cool. Um, it's just basically the same, it will be the exact same as doing almost like a overhead tricep um, from, you know, cable machine or or even like, you know, just even like a skull crusher in a sense. I'm just having that stretch from here, you know, so they're getting a little, you know, they're getting a little creative with it. Again, machines aren't, you know, the machines aren't made just for what they're made for. Right. Yeah, they may intend to have it just for this certain exercise. But when you find, oh, you can do this as well, too, and get an even better stretch on that. Go for it. Right. This puts Tristan in a really, really good position in this. And now where Tristan is, let's move back. Where Tristan is now, that's where he needs to be all the time in that, right? When he starts, is that nice parallel spot. Let's keep going to the next one. I have an idea in my head. Just watch his work. I'm like, okay, it's good. Usually I probably only do three exercises for both. I feel like you don't really, it's a small muscle. Like, why do you need to like be here all day? If you do all those exercises right or you do enough, it should, should be enough. I love, a, I love what Frank says. And I, man, I, I love running into Frank. He's like a world of knowledge. He's one of those like underrated bodybuilders when it comes to like what he just knows from experience. And just like, and that's like the whole like, you know, just understanding their body enough that they've been able to train pretty optimal. Either way, um, I love what he's saying. Basically, it's a small muscle group. You don't have to be in the gym for a couple hours doing arms. Let's be serious. You know, you have like, if you train, you know, your your bicep and your tricep, if you're looking at like everything, brachialis, 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 whatever, whatever it is, whatever, right? And your tricep, three different exercises for each head, right? Hand placement, right? Or whatever. And then, you know, three sets, boom, they're done right and you do it enough like that and then be able just to focus on quality reps you're not in the gym for a few hours doing you know arms and you're getting way more out of your time for these movements as well too so last thing we got going on here is and so when i do forearm know, movements so like there's no like when it comes to like you know when it comes to you know forearm exercising right and doing all this stuff and you see him like you know wrenching on it you know 
cool. That's good. I, I, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not gonna I'm gonna break his forearm and say, hey man, keep your arms on straight as we get the load on. Whatever, right? Um, the thing is, if we're looking at like you know making sure we're we're getting a staying away staying away from something like tennis elbow, you really do want to have good forearms, um, flexibility and strength. A lot of the time we forget about that. We're we're no, we're we're strong everywhere else. We're supinating everything, doing this and that, and we forget that everything really starts from down here and moves all the way up. So if we're not, you know, strengthening this in some compa capacity, there'll be a mechanical breakdown in our forearm that's going to eventually have you issue having issues with your, oh, man, my forearm's hurt. Man, I, I got the bar, and when I let it go of the bar, it's like in so much pain. I've had it before, and literally, the it, it was almost like a tennis elbow thing, and for the most part, it's the lack of prioritizing forearm exercises. Now, I'm not saying it, sitting there all day freaking doing this stuff, but like a few things you can do that can you know help with your forearm strength and i'm gonna give you guys some examples right here check it out okay so a couple things you can do if you're looking at actually like training your forearms again if you want to make your forearms stronger use your grips or any kind of like you know straps you have until you actually need them so make your hands work and then when you're in your harder sets you need to like pull or pick something up then put them on now if you want to directly you know hit them by doing like you know if you don't have a machine like tristan and, and uh, grab have you can basically do the old school tie a weight on the bottom of a string onto a hockey stick and just pull it like that. Or if you're at your gym, which would probably be easier, depending your gym's not locked down. So anything pretty simple from here. We can sit from here, hands at the edge. You've probably seen this before. Make sure I put my hands on both sides. I want to grip from both, right? We're not really going to pull so hard from our, from our thumb, but I just want to have my thumb just kind of there anyway to kind of help with the motion. And from there, I'm just going to pull all the way up and then down. Right, a little bit of an angle so there's always a weight. So from here, I like doing these nice and slow. And these are things that actually help with tennis elbow. And then we wanna work the other side, instead of going this way, which I'm not a huge fan of, going here's not bad, but we can go from all the way from the dot, from all the way from fingers rolled and pulling fingers right up. I like doing these standing from here and up, here and then up, from here and up, here and then up. All the way down to the fingertips, roll the fingers, squeeze them all the way up and pulling in and down. Now is ball two. If you have a small dumbbell, you could take a little small dumbbell or weight and just do supination movements here, which will actually help build the forearm, but will actually help with any kind of like tennis elbow, if you have any form of any kind of tennis elbow, squeezing your wrists as well too, those will help. All right, good guys, enjoy those tips for sure. I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel, guys. You know I'm gonna come with a tell like it is, transparent, vulnerable truth, guys. For coachingjohnashi.com, make sure you guys hit the descriptions below, get those promo codes and discount codes that will help save your life or change your life for the better. Make sure you guys add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training clips, in your video clips, and I will repost it for you because you know how it is, guys. Iron Shepherds Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.